What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is day one, episode one of building the dream car, I guess you could say. But yeah, so we're gonna be working on dropping the K member and start cleaning up the areas that have rust before we put the motor back in because uh, if I feel like I put in the motor back in, then I'll never be able to get to those areas that have rust. So it's probably just better to do it before we put the motor back in. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Um, I'm filming this unfortunately on day two because I forgot to film an intro yesterday, but uh, we started off by pulling the car in, which you'll see. I'm gonna have a little um, sped up clips and stuff like that, but so let's get right into it. All right, well, we're starting the first process of getting the car back together. Uh, the first order of business is getting that car into that garage. I got to put the wheels on, pull the cover off. So let's get at it. got the car completely jacked up so we're about to put it on jack sands on the front but yeah we're gonna drop the k member we're trying to go right under there yeah and that's what we're fixing right there yeah here we go let's keep it going Bye -bye. and it's off that's how it's done we got the tie rods off and now we're gonna go for the sway bar. And yeah, keep you updated. Now it's time for the sway bar. Doing my part, holding it there. That's what I do best. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Arms getting tired. one piece at a time but it really sucks not having a lift as you can tell but it is what it is okay well we got the spring out so we're getting somewhere calipers off everything's off making progress making progress I'm gonna move on to the other side and then Hopefully start actually going for the K-member. But we'll see. More to do. Let's keep going. And that is what happens when you get angry at a rusted bolt. But it's out, so moving on to the other side. Finally, the K member is about to be dropped out. Um, I'm going to set you guys up so you can hopefully see it get dropped out. But So, let's try it. Is it, is it off? Can 
need to lower it slowly? I can try. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Keep it on the side. Is it the rack? Swing, swing the rack around the rotor. The rack here? I don't know, is it in the way? It looks like it's been leaning left, but... What's that? It's the bolt. Uh, Where'd that wrench go? Which one? This one? Which kind of wrench? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see me, but that's that close. Is how you drop a K member. Literally. <laughs> We're done. Jesus. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna cut it there, but I don't know. I'll probably put an ending clip or something. But here we go. All right, we're calling it a day today, but uh, tomorrow we're gonna come back and try to pull it out, clean everything up, and uh, get on to the next part. But um, as right now, where we stand, we have the K member out. But yeah, good progress. I mean, good day's work, but yeah. So, all right, for you guys, it'll be probably three seconds. For me, it's gonna be a whole day, but yeah. All right, on to the next day. What's up, guys? We're back here on day two. Uh, yesterday we left off on pulling out the K member and now today we're gonna work on cleaning up right where I'll walk you around the other side we had to cut off a couple of bolts to drop the K member so in this area there's not a lot of light but in this area you can see that's where the rust is and that's what we're gonna have to try to grind out today and clean that up put in some new metal and weld in some new metal so that's what we're gonna be working on today it's going to be quite a process, but, um, you know, like everything, it's just going to one step at a time. So I'm going to get back to that. And uh, so, yep, yeah, let's get started. Okay, well, the K member is completely out from underneath the car. We also were able to get the sway bar completely out. But once again, one bolt out of four did not want to come out. So it got the hammer. But now we're at a little bit of a stopping point. We ran into a another problem yet again, uh, whether or not to take the brake lines out because then you have to bleed the brakes and it's a lot more work. But unfortunately, as you can see, I'll try to get, you cannot get to this area without getting all that stuff out of the way. So that's what we're doing. This gives you a very, see that rust in there and then in here, that's from poking at it. We were trying to basically break it open, but yeah, that's what we're trying to replace right here. This support member, I guess you could call it. I don't really know, but yeah, so that's where we're at right now. So I don't know. Keep trying to post clips one, one part at a time, but let's get back to it. Now I got to work on getting the wheel well liner out. So we can get to that part again. And this isn't fun because of all the clips, but I'm gonna set up the camera, do a little time lapse, I don't know. <sighs> Let's get to it.
brake lines out, unfortunately, but had to be done. So now we're moving on. We started marking where, well, let me get where the, um, this material for the frame is gonna go. I'll show you right here. So we have it, we're gonna try to cut here with the plasma cutter to here. We took the measurements for underneath for all these holes where the K-member and the sway bar goes. So now we're just gonna try to cut this piece out. Weld that material in and go from there. We'll see. I'm just going to send it. <laughs> and that's why you don't have. Blankets. Quick fire. It's out. And we're done. Finished the cutting. Uh, turned out pretty good. Um, here it is. So, as you can see, like I showed before, that black line, the Sharpie mark. Cut that out, which was came across here and down here, which will be getting replaced by this tubing. And then we started going up a little farther because there was rust here and there was basically my bad, a hole through there. So we know how we're gonna do this part, but the problem is we don't know how we're gonna fix that because it's pretty oddly shaped. So we're gonna figure that out, but it turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Now the hard part, which is going to be putting the metal back. It was easy taking it out, but we'll see. So we gotta do the other side too, but I think once we figure out this side, it'll other side will be a lot easier so here we go all right so i'm gonna move on to cleaning the k-member up uh try to get some of the surface rust off of it and everything get all the grease off because the old motor used to leak a lot of oil so there's a lot it's there's a lot of oil built up on it so i'm gonna hit it with a degreaser lacquer thinner and all that my dad is working on getting basically the frame for the new the new frame where we just cut out all the old rust out set up so i'm gonna give you a little quick this is what we got so far these are the holes going through it's supported inside that's where the k-member bolts are going to go through so it's looking very good right now so i'm gonna while he's doing that i'm working on the k-member i'm gonna do a little time lapse and so let's get right into it Well, I just got finished up uh, cleaning up the K-member. It's not perfect. There's just so many little spots that I just can't get to, but I'll do it uh, later on. But basically, it's pretty much there. I can show it to you now. I mean, all this right here was covered in grease. I mean, everything. But, like, these little areas in there are pretty hard to get to. But for the most part, it's, uh, it's done. So um, I'm going to show you the finished product of what the new frame is going to look like. The new frame pieces that are going in my dad's finishing up there it's actually pretty cool how he decided to do it but um yeah we're just we forgot about the bolt the holes for the sway bar so we had to go back and put new holes in but uh, nothing too bad good thing we thought about it before he tacked it because that would have been much much worse but uh yeah so he's gonna finish up those last couple holes and hopefully we'll get it tacked in and we'll call it a day there but yeah let's go And that's it that's it the new frame piece is in i'll show you it from inside the wheel well but yeah pretty much done tacking it in 
I mean, it's a whole day's work for um, one side, but it is what it is. Everything always takes longer than you think. But it looks good. I mean, it'll work perfectly. I'll show you the inside real quick. So let's go to that. It is. It's all in. It's very strong, very strong. Uh, we got to finish this section up here. We're just going to do some sheet metal to cover up that hole. But this is strong enough that this is nothing. This has nothing to do with the support. So uh, it's all welded in. It's exactly what we wanted to do. So we're going to have to do it on the other side another day. But for now, that's where we're going to end it. All right. Well, that's going to end it for today's video. I want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed so far. And if you haven't, subscribe now. Like. Comment what you thought of the video so far. Leave any comment. I mean, this is my first time filming, so cut me a break. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to get used to, you know, it's, it's kind of awkward, but I'm doing my best. So, and uh, special thanks to Keith Outdoors. I'm going to link his Instagram where I'll put it up on the screen. He's sponsoring today's video and a couple after this. But, yeah, um, I appreciate all the support from everybody. I mean, I've wanted to do this for a long time. And uh, I'm glad I'm finally doing it, you know. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, subscribe, leave something below. I'll try to get to answer everybody. But, yeah, I appreciate you watching. I got more content coming soon. So, all right, I'll see you guys later.